very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so of course I just wanted to share with you what's going on with the premium signals group so far this week as you can see the results from Monday and Tuesday were actually amazing and look at the profits we have delivered to our clients and we had only one break even trade and the other one with 13 pips of loss only while the other of the other signals have made more than 100 pips actually that was really fantastic and even yesterday Tuesday was also great very great day it was 100% and all of the signals as we can see all of them have reached at least take profit one and euro NZD has reached the take profit number two so it's going really so well so far and thankfully we have received tons of messages as we can see right here these are the messages th that we have received from our clients and as you can see this guy have made 708 dollars from one day of trading our signals by the way he is saying that he is one of the longest members after about three years and he's still with us and still using our signals that is a big confirmation for those who are doubting our signals and saying that they are not profitable Please take this gentleman here as a good example. He has been with us for more than three years. And here as well, we can see uh, this guy have made more than 212 pounds of profit of trading our signals in just one sig single day. So I have been uh, seen any, anyone better than you people in the Forex till now. Thank you, sir. And thank you also, Angela, for these amazing and great signals that we are making for our clients. So if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact Angela. You can find her contact details in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you there. All right, my friends. So before we go ahead and start the midweek analysis video, it's very, very important to look for the upcoming news and see what's coming ahead. And we have to be very careful and wise about our trades because uh, there are some uh, news actually going to affect the US dollar and the uh, pound coming this week. So uh, by going to forexfactory.com, what we can see right here is uh, today, Wednesday, at actually 10 p.m. Dubai time, uh, 6 p.m. GMT time, 6 p.m. GMT time please convert it to your local time uh, there are gonna be the interest rate statement in use for the uh, US dollar and this actually might affect um, all of the signals you are about to see in this video we have to be very careful it all depends on the outcome results of these statements how are they gonna be are they gonna be very good for the currency very bad for the currency we really don't know yet however uh, they are actually a good uh, a good chance for the traders because they are rocking the market if in case the results was or the statement was very bad or very good so you can actually trade the news during these times so this is for today and tomorrow also is gonna be pretty much a day for the traders because we can see that tomorrow we have um, at 5 30 a.m dubai time 1 30 a.m gmt time there is going to be the unemployment rate for the Australian dollar. It actually also might affect the AUD pairs. Also, please pay attention tomorrow also for um, the pound at 3 p.m. Dubai time, uh, 11 a.m. GMT time. There are going to be the official bank rate statement from uh, British banks. So this actually might affect also the pound pairs and i believe friday is gonna be a really good day also because there are also almost no news so the market is gonna be calm and it's gonna be very easy to trade so i think we are going to one uh, very good week actually so so far everything is going well and let me just uh, bring uh, the mt4 right now so here goes the mt4 and let's right now see what are the upcoming or so what, ha what happened with the weekly signals signals that i have sent recently so as we can see a um, the U the sorry the euro usd is going very well and the pair has reversed exactly at the level where i have mentioned to start shorting the pair sadly i don't see much of that in the comments they are not saying that yes Allah we have entered the signal yeah it was very profitable yeah thank you anyway uh, it's okay we can see that the pair is right now going in almost 60 pips of profit so what is gonna happen next I believe if you have missed entering this signal we can go to the daily candles and we can see that the, the bearish pattern has actually completed so it's actually gonna continue the fall uh, euro USD is gonna be definitely good for the uh, uh, for the short uh, these upcoming two weeks at least so therefore 
uh, your OST can actually be still good for the short and if in case you have missed entering this signal you can enter it again right here at that strong key resistance level and that one here as well after having the bearish breakout candle from that support therefore what we can expect right now from the uh, euro USD is to finish the pullback and right here after finishing the pullback pattern we can continue or resume the short so this is of course only in fin case you have missed entering this signal and by the way I have made a mistake here when I mentioned zero 0.19029 while of course as we can see all of the price levels are starting with one point so it's a mistype only and please don't be confused about it of course I'm not gonna uh, analyze on the 1.190 uh, and then type for you the signal 0 0.190 then you will be confused oh where, where is the signal how come where did Salah say to sell it of course it's gonna be right here my friends it's just a mistype that's it that's it just like that Anyway, uh, 1.18628, uh, is gonna be the next level where we can start again entering the signal for the euro USD and I believe by the end of uh, this video it actually might already be entered um, it's only 22 pips away so hopefully this video is gonna be finished very soon so let's check now the uh, pound USD the pound USD is right now ranging inside the safe zone and actually it is uh, here on the entry point so what can we expect now from the USD uh, sorry from the pound USD actually the pound oh, by the way this is from the USD CAD ignore it ignore it please this is not here okay it's not here it's not here so what we can see right here from the pound USD is actually gonna reverse and if we look at the one hour time frame what we can see right here this pattern here or this price action which indicates usually a strong bearish reversal and I believe um, on the long run and after hitting that resistance right here the pound USD is gonna uh, continue the fall so if you have opened your trade for shorting the pound USD please keep it on if you didn't open it yet you can go ahead and open it right away because the pair is definitely for the fall and it's actually right now on a perfect entry for short uh, this time now looking at the AUD USD. Now AUD USD has went all the way up here as I have expected and it reversed just uh, five pips before entering my cell area or cell level and I think I'm gonna allow myself to take the credit for this signal because it's just simply not fair to not take it. Guys come on it's just five pips. So let's go now to the one hour time frame and see what we can expect next from the USD uh, sorry from the AUD USD. Now, if in case you have missed entering the cell of the AUD USD, look here, guys, we can see right here that we had a strong key resistance level and it was also a support right here. Pay attention that what we had right here was a fake breakout. Not only that, uh, what, what we can see right here that this level of the resistance was as strong as a key resistance level. However, when that resistance became a support, it couldn't even hold the position not even for one single attempt it just made right here a fake breakout again and again made the, uh, the, the other fake breakout and then continue the fall so w the point is the pair has made a strong reversal right here while it w when it was a support it was barely any reversal at all and immediately breaking out from what does that mean that means that resistance level is or sorry that that level is much much stronger as a resistance and therefore we can start shorting the AUD USD again once the candle hit the very same level and we can expect from the pair to continue the fall so that being said uh, if in case you have missed entering the signal at the beginning of the week AUD USD is going to be good for the short at 7, 0.7 uh, 3179 that's gonna be our new signal for shorting the AUD USD and also uh, keep the same take profit level mentioned from the weekly analysis video so hopefully it's gonna be good signal for everyone now let's look at the USD CAD USD CAD has also uh, the signal of the USD CAD has also been active and as we can see the pair has just reversed 1.7 pips before entering my signal level no guys i'm gonna take it sorry i'm gonna take it there is it's impossible to not take the credit uh, the credit of the signal anyway we can see here the pair has reversed exactly here at this point and it went in total of uh, almost 70 pips and right now is going in 
uh, almost 50 pips of profit so what can you do if in case you have missed entering the USD CAD well the pattern has actually or the formation has been completed right here and the pair actually is going to continue the rise so it's a matter of where we can start again buying the USD CAD if in case we have missed this entry we need to look at the strong level of key and support uh, levels as we can see right here here we had a strong uh, key resistance level and that level as we can see it has become here a support multiple times and even here it was a small resistance remember guys exactly the same thing happened right now with the pound usd uh, sorry with the AUD usd uh, that level here it was acting as a strong key support level however when it became a resistance it was so small tiny attempt and immediately has been breaking out that means this level right here is much stronger as a support so that being said we can start again buying the USD CAD if in case you guys have missed entering the signal uh, we can start again by the USD CAD buy on 1.31650 that's gonna actually gonna be a better level to start again buying the USD CAD oh, okay and of course keep the same take profit level mentioned from the weekly analysis video USDGPY was the best signal among all as we can see the pair has reversed exactly as I have mentioned and I said to, so to sell right away at the level of uh, 106.218 let me just fix the line 218 215 it's almost the same so as we can see the pair has reversed for almost a total of uh, 92 pips and our take profit level is on 85 pips so that's actually the signal has been completed and the pair has reached the take profit level now what's next with the usd gpy now the next thing we can expect actually that we have here right here a supported trend line and that supported trend line has just been broken out from so we can expect from the pair after reaching this strong support zone it actually might reverse and go a little bit more up to retest the broken support trend line and then it's gonna be again good for the short right here so the pair is gonna continue the fall all the way to that strong key support level so that being said what is the next level where we can actually start shorting the USD GPY if in case we have missed this signal uh, actually it's right here let me just edit the signal so USD GPY might actually be good again for the short at 105.783 as I mentioned because this is where the pair is gonna actually retest the broken supported trend line and someone might actually tell me seller in this case can I start buying the USD GPY right, uh, right away and, and set the take profit level here where you have mentioned to sell actually no don't do that because that support uh, zone it has one two three and already a fourth attempt of the breakout from the support there is a good uh, chance that the pair actually might not ex might not uh, rise to retest the broken support trend line and simply gonna continue the fall so please don't just um, assume it's gonna go ahead i'm just giving the signal that we have to wait for the best opportunity to short and our best opportunity to short is gonna be exactly at the retest of that resistance and that's it please don't buy the usd gpy uh, assuming it's gonna definitely go up so of course if in case that happened our tech profit level is gonna be changed on that previous support level right here so the tech profit level is gonna be on 104.830 that's gonna be our new tech profit level for the USD GPY and hopefully it's gonna be also a good signal for everyone who have missed entering it now let's check the USD CHF USD CHF is also going very well actually as we can see that signal has been triggered yes it's only two pips away and I'm gonna take the credit of it yes I'm sorry I'm gonna do it so we can see that this support level has kept its position as a support right here and the pair has reversed exactly at where I have expected it and so far is going in 35 pips of profit so if in case you have missed entering the signal of the USD CHF let's look at the strong support and key resistance levels where we can expect the pair to reverse again as we can see if we look at the past we had right here a pretty much strong support levels and um, we can see that later on 
it wasn't even a resistance not even for once look at that that level here was acting as a support it hasn't been acting as a resistance at once so that tells us that this level is much stronger as a support so therefore what we can see right here the USTCHF let me just draw the line for you the USTCHF has actually made here a resistance uh, let me just go to that to the four hour chart it's, yeah so we can see right here we had a support uh, a resistance trend line and the pair has just made the bullish breakout from that level so we can expect that the pair is actually might fall a little bit more to retest that support level and then it's going to continue the rise what does that mean that means actually the USDCHF might be good for the buy right away immediately uh, it's not really worth it at all to mention just uh, for a few signal for a few pips so I cannot give you the signal after three or four pips. I mean, USDCHF seems good for the buy right away. If in case you have missed entering the signal, and of course keep the same entries, uh, sorry, the same take profit level from the weekly analysis video. Now we need to talk about the gold because the gold has not reversed from where I have expected it. However, it made the fake breakout level out of the safe zone I have provided. What does that mean? Actually, is that if we check the gold. The gold is right now going in this channel like that. <clears throat> so we are having here a channel and the gold is not actually able to break out of it. And the pair is still ranging in inside of that uh, channel. However, if we look at that channel, we can notice first of all, it's actually going in a bearish momentum because that resistance level is actually controlling this channel. Look at that that resistance is the one controlling the pair so the, the the pair is actually trying to rise its way up like that however it's keep hitting or sorry um it just keep how can i say that it's just keep hitting the same level of the resistance and reverse no matter what happens even when there was a finally break out of it the market has immediately fall below that level so it's like the bears giving the telling the bulls no go back down don't even think about it don't ever think that you can exceed that resistance i'm gonna push you down again know your place so the bulls of course they know their place already so they are trying again to pull out to to push the market up to go above that resistance and oh to try again oh so it's failing it's failing to break out from that resistance that tells us that the bears are actually controlling the market so therefore the market is gonna be for the bearish momentum this week so what is the next move we can do with the gold now the next move actually if we study the structure go back to the one hour chart we can see that the pair is actually making here a reversal however that level here of the resistance after the bearish breakout candle is going to be actually a very good level to start shorting the gold again so that resistance right here and right here they are going to keep their position as a resistance exactly after the bearish breakout candle so that being said of course this week we need to change the signal for the gold and my deepest apologize for everyone who have lost uh, on this signal however i hope also they recovered a lot of profits <coughs> they recovered all of the losses plus a lot of profits from the other uh, usd pairs uh, signals because all of them actually going in profit so usd uh, sorry the the gold should be good for the short again at 1962.05 and this time the safe zone is going to be ranging exactly here at the top of that resistance so we are talking about um can exceed that a little bit more exactly like that so definitely the pair not going to be able to exceed that level of the resistance i think it's going to be very good signal for shorting uh, the gold let me draw for you the safe zone just like that so that's going to be your signal for shorting the uh, the gold and of course our tech profit level is going to be exactly right here let me just make it more safe exactly right here so we're looking for almost 255 pips of profit from shorting the gold tech profit level is going to be on 1936.26 so there goes your midweek uh, signals and please as i mentioned pay attention to the upcoming news that can actually affect the market the economic news especially the uh, interest uh, rate statement from the united states and the bank rate from the pound uh, for the british uh, banks 
please pay attention to this news they might change these signals and if in case anything happened of course i'm gonna warn everyone with another uh, video this week so in the end i hope this week is still gonna be very good uh, for everyone so i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching